Capturing detailed and accurate scan data does not have to be a long, complicated process. Our Tech Studio's Autopilot feature is a simple way to get great results. Let's switch over to the software and I'll show you how this works. All right, so here we are in our Tech Studio. I have this little propeller. It's just a simple mechanical object that I'll scan. And the first thing, of course, that we're going to do is capture scan data. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'll take one scan in this orientation. And then since I want a complete object, I will flip it over and get one more scan in that orientation. All right, so there's one. I will flip this over and we'll start another scan and capture data from this orientation. So what this will do, this will allow us to create a complete watertight object that can be used for all sorts of different purposes. All right, so now we have our raw scan data. I'm going to click the autopilot button here. It'll run a little fine tune alignment algorithm there. And then it gives me a little pop-up that shows that I'm entering the autopilot feature. I'll click OK. It asks me to select the scans that I want to process. I could only process one if I wanted to, but I want to process everything. So I'll just click Select All, click Next. And then it presents me with a list of questions about the object that I just scanned. And if you are unsure of what it's asking for any of these, you can click the little button next to it. And it gives you a visual example along with other details explaining what it's actually asking. Now for this object, um, I could leave this on automatic resolution and poly count, but I know that I want to use, say, a 0.3 millimeter resolution and 200,000 polygons. That should work fine for this object. I'm going to leave everything else as it is and click Next. And then it asks me if I want to edit anything out of the model. Now I did not use the automatic base removal for this object. So I, what I will do is say, yes, I want to edit. And I will come in here and let's edit this object. There we go. Let's erase that. And then I can just use this really simple base selection command All right, there we go. So I've edited out what I don't want. I'll click Next, and it's going to attempt an automatic alignment. Now, a lot of times with mechanical objects that are very symmetrical, um, the auto alignment doesn't work so well. It's not really a problem, though, because it's asking if they appear to be aligned correctly. If they're not, you can click Align Manually. And then what I'm going to do here is come in and line these up visually side by side and then click a couple points so that it's able to use as a starting point here in doing its alignment. I do have a couple markings on here for my own sanity um, since this is a very uniform object here. I just need to get a couple points close here. I click the line. That looks good to me. Click Next. And now it's going to actually run through all of the behind the scenes algorithms that were set up when we answered all those questions about the object. Now, all of these algorithms are the same steps that you could run manually if you wanted to from the Tools tab, but Autopilot makes it so that you can just answer a couple questions and it will create your object for you. So here's the model. This is looking pretty good. It just did its mesh simplification and then applied color texture back over top of it. And here we are left with our completed object. We could look at the geometry again. This all looks really good. Go back to our texture. And that's it. That's how simple it is to use the autopilot feature in our tech studio.